Yeah, I got to get you in there somehow. Okay, Karen's black and also Karen black. This game, it's embarrassing to show the games. It is. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. I don't know a lot of the game. I just know the Rook versus Knight. And probably my notation's crap, but I'll, we'll, we'll okay. try to get Her through it. Her opponent played B4. <laughs> Karen played Knight F6. Bishop B2. E6. A3. E3. Knife F3. So far, pretty good. Bishop B7. Yeah, you know who likes to play this with white that we know? It's a person we know. I don't know. Kokomo. Oh, really? Yeah, he plays B4, and then he plays like this. Mm. I've never I've it. never played against that. And he played here. So I just had to make Yeah, that. you want the last few moves. Mm -hmm. you, you don't want him to go here because you don't have a lot of space. That's what ended up happening. Right, yeah. So you either want to take... Or play C5. Okay. C5 would be give you a fine position. Mm -hmm. So you played here, and now you prepared it too much. Now he played C5. So now he's better because you strangled. Yeah, I wanted to play C5. In, in these positions in the Queen's Gambit, they play like you do, and they try to play Bishop A6 mm -hmm. early. So you can trade off trade your, off the bishops. before I develop the knight. I thought about that, but um, yeah, you don't have a chance to do that now. Right. Now and then he played queen e two, so you couldn't play bishop a six. Mm -hmm. Now the engine wants you to play queen c eight, so you can play bishop a six. Okay. Because your bishop's not so good. Yeah, he's horrible. Okay, you traded good. Yeah, and this is still about equal. Yeah, I was just trying to get a little bit more. Room. And you took on c5, and he took with the d pawn, which is unusual in this structure, but here it says it's correct. Okay. Because he's opening up his bishop, and his knight has the d4 square, and you mm -hmm. can't play e5. Yeah, this game was terrible. I was just suffering. No, this game was fine so far. No, I was just stressed out the whole game. <laughs> okay, he you played h6, played e4. Then you took, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Then you played knight d5, that's fine. Queen b2, oh, he defended his pawn. Did you go to attack it some more? I don't know what I did. It's a joke because he's threatening <laughs> mate. Uh. And then you stopped mate, good. Rook b1. Yeah, so far you're playing great. Rook A8's the right move. I thought the game was stressful to me. This is you're playing good. You got D5 <laughs> for your knight. And I trapped my own rook. Later. Bishop A6 is correct. You're playing a lot of good moves this game. Mm -hmm. It wants him to save his bishop because his bishop's good for attacking. Yeah, I hated that. Bishop. Yeah, it says that you're completely equal here, if not better. B5, it says that's a blunder and now you're winning. You took. He took with the queen, which it says is also a blunder. Now you win immediately. Darn. Okay. But I didn't. So in this position, <laughs> okay. Now, he took, now, the re, now. The reason you can't take his knight is he has queen takes mate. I know. Also, <laughs> no, no, also, he took your bishop, so it wouldn't even matter. You have to take back. Yeah. Now the reason you can't take his knight is because of mate. However, after queen takes, there there is no mate. Right. Okay, so now you play the tactic rook takes a1. Because his bishop, his knight's not defending, hanging, okay. and if he takes, you luckily can take and defend your rook, which is funny. And then if he takes the rook, then you take this, and you have two pieces for a rook. And the engine says you're plus five. Pretty good, because this pawn's a goner. Right. Yeah. So this is winning for black this position. So you missed one tactical chance with rook here. I thought about it during the okay. game, but I wasn't quite sure. Then you played rook c6, 
Now it says you're worse after this. Yeah, this is what happened. Okay. <laughs> then you play knight. But you're not losing. You're just worse. Knight e4 is correct. Yeah. Queen c. It says it wants him to play knight takes, then queen takes. It changed his mind. Okay, queen takes. Queen takes. Knight takes. This is all correct. Yeah, and this is like 50-50 whether it's a win or a draw. This is because all the pawns are on the same side and your pieces are so good. I felt very demoralized. No. In the I'm just playing, telling you how I fine. felt in the game. It wants you to trade bishops. When you, something happens here. that you don't see, yeah. even if it turns out to not be as bad, it stressed me out because I didn't see it. So I was like, man, that was dumb. Mm -hmm. Rook e2. Hey, in Taiwan. Yeah, this game is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Never play f6. That's the engine move. I'm used to playing that since I play the French a lot. <laughs> I, so this, is, this should be a draw this ending, and I had it once with the Rook and Three mm -hmm. like 27 years ago, and I won like easily. I was playing a 2300. I won without any problem at all. Yeah. But it should be a draw. Well, I mean, I thought I could draw it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you're playing it, fine. I could have drawn it. I just G5 mess, is good. You know, messed up. Trading pawns <laughs> is good. Here you want to trade more pawns, mm -hmm. so you should play H4. Then if he takes it, you check and take back. Okay. You're trying to trade pawns. And this isolated pawn. All I did the, the next several moves was mm -hmm. try to trade pawns. That's, right. all I, that's my whole life's mission is okay. trading pawns. E4. <laughs> yeah, this game was like played really well. King G7. That's legal. King F7. King G7. Exciting. King F7. Thanks, uh, Chess Dojo Live, for raiding with a party of 82. Yay. Thank you, guys. Let's get those shout-outs going. Thank you for the raid. Then you played Knight H3. Okay, that's a blunder that loses. Mm -hmm. Wait, hang on. Yeah, that's a bad move. And then I want to see why. But just... Yeah. All right. Yeah, after Knight H3, now you're losing. But he blundered with rook a2. He should take this. You were going to take that. Yeah. And then king f5. Now you're going to lose this because I'm going to check. And then my king's going to come in and all your pawns are weak. And your king's stuck to the back rank. So this is actually winning for white. Okay. Okay. But he played rook a2 because he didn't want to trade. He, he, he didn't want to trade. Hey, Costia. Makes sense. Thank you, Promote. guys. And then, what's this? This is delete. And then this is delete. All right. Did you put this game in the computer already? Mm -mm. Okay, good. We can save this one. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, rook a2. Now you're still in trouble because your pawns are you know, sort of suspicious. Okay, now... The winning move for white is hard for anybody to see who's not a super GM. It's rook a6. Cutting to cut a king. Then after knight takes, yeah. king here. That's risky if you're lower rated because this pawn could get dangerous. Right. If you're an engine, the, the pawn's not dangerous. He, could, he did cut me off at some point, and then I avoided mm -hmm. it after that. So then you moved your king. You moved it on up to mm -hmm. the king side. Now he played the totally insane. He's still winning here. Because your pawns are separated and his king's coming in and his rook's coming in. Oh, yeah. It was he terrible. played the totally insane f4. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a terrible move. Then you played the excellent knight here. Great move. Yeah, now you're drawing. Well, I was about to get trapped. No, now you're drawing. Yeah. Moving on up to the king's side. Yeah, now you're going to draw because f4 was that terrible. That was the square I wanted. The reason f4 is terrible mm -hmm. is it takes away the f4 square from his king. Imagine, if you will, mm -hmm. his pawn is on f2 here. Can you imagine that? Mm -hmm. We can go to Orlando if you can't. 
I don't know what you mean. It's the land of imagination, Disney World. Oh. <laughs> he could play King F4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was glad that he made that. If there. he plays King F4, he made sure he could never play King F4. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rook F1, King G6. Okay. I thought he was thinking about sack, sacking back, but uh -huh. then he didn't. And then you played H4. That loses, it says. Hmm. Should have just chilled. But I know why you did it. Right now he has to play king here, and you can't take the pawn because king g3 wins your knight. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this says he's winning. Then if you go here, so he can't play that, then this is winning for him. Right. So h4 was a mistake. Then here he made a mistake, rook a1. And the rest of the game you're drawing until your time ran out. Although it could be you were losing in some positions. Mm -hmm. It could be that you, you know, you put your king on the back rank too much. But th this is a draw. Uh, rook h8, knight h4, check. King h3 is correct. Knight check is correct. Knight takes f4. Knight here it also draws but your move is the most correct. Then you check, so if he takes, you fork. Mm -hmm. But he didn't fall for that. No. And this is a draw. So I have a funny story to tell you. When I was a little kid, I was probably eight or nine, at the Ann Arbor Chess Club, this guy was explaining, his name is Dave Whitehouse. He was 2270, like in the 70s. He was explaining... Rook versus knight is always a draw, even when the king and the knight are on the back rank. And he was showing positions like the ones you had. This is when I was like eight. So I've never, I, well, we'll get to that in a minute. Mm -hmm. But I knew that knight versus rook was a theoretical draw like mm -hmm. once this pawn is gone. But I didn't know what I was supposed to do. Well, just, you don't want to have your king on the side because that's where he can mate you. Right, well. Well, that's just stay in the yeah. middle, or right? You never want your king on the side in any pawnless endgame. That's where you get mated. Right. You don't get mated when your king is you know, here. I was. I just didn't want to get separated from the knight. Right. You want your king and knight near each other, and you want your king not on the side of the board. But when your king's on the side of the <clears> board, <throat> most of the time you're drawing anyway, like here. Right. All right. All right. King e4. I'm not sure if you were ever losing until your time ran out. It's possible you were, but we'll find out. So at this point, I was going for the 50 move rule. If you don't capture within 50 moves, then it's a draw. So that's all I'm doing, but we're both really low on time, and the game is like five and a half hours in. So that's where we were. And I had more time at this point, but then I got less time than him. Yeah, I think King here is like the only drawing move, too, and you played it. That was good. Yeah, but I because I didn't know what to do, I knew I could draw. I was having to think a long time on each move to make sure I'm I looking get at the engine it. to see if you're ever losing. Right. Because, man, it's going to know if you're losing. And um, so I, I... Yeah, so like in this position when mm -hmm. I was watching, yeah. there's only one move to play here for black. Right. I'm not saying your move loses, but you play king g7, you get the hell off the back rank. Okay. Yeah, you played here, and I was like, no. Yeah, now you're lost. It announces mate. Okay. Yeah, your king's in the corner. That's the worst place it can be. Uh, yeah. Okay, so now you're losing. And then you weren't losing later. Uh, king d5 wins because you lose your knight. Your knight's just completely trapped. Oh, I didn't even see You that. can't go here because rook here. And if you go here, then here. This wins your knight immediately. You have to go to a5 and then rook a7 wins your knight. Mm -hmm. Or not rook a7, rook b5. I'm sorry. Yeah, this, this just, the, the knight's trapped. He was trying to mate you. He wasn't looking to win your knight. Right. Okay, he played here. Oh, never mind. You wrote the wrong move down. So that's good. Oh. Okay, so after king h8, you didn't play king h8. You played king f8 and you wrote king h8. Okay. Okay, that's, so you, then you weren't losing. Hey, can you correct that on the sheet? Uh, I don't have a pen. I could write it in blood. Um... Is that the first mistake on the... Probably, yeah. What's the uh, number of the move? Uh, 
75. Okay, I'll go fix it later. Mm -hmm. We should keep pins. Yeah, here. okay, so king d7. Yeah, so you didn't, you, that didn't happen. This is still a draw, so you've, ne you've never been so losing. So I didn't mess up. No, I didn't think you were losing when I was watching. You're actually not allowed to stop notating under five minutes when it's an increment in this particular tournament, CL Smith. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't stop notating, and they announced that before every round that you still had to notate even below five minutes. Yeah, you've never been losing. Yay. Now you wrote rook f4, knight d8, rook f4. Hmm, probably he didn't play rook f4 again. Oh, you wrote king. Yeah, I don't know what you wrote, but he played here. Okay, then you played here. He played rook h4. Yeah, this was good when you were running your king up. I like that. Yeah, here you just play king here, like your king's in the center. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. What you did was drawing. So far, you yeah, then you moved your king back. Like, just play knight c6. Like, don't move your king to the back row. Right, okay. I'm Look, it doesn't matter. You, you were never losing. You've yeah. never been losing so far. When I was watching, I never thought you were losing. I didn't like some of your moves, but I was like, eh, it doesn't matter. Now you wrote knight e7 again. And then you wrote knight c6. Man, that's not good. Uh, let me, now I got to do some work. Knight, rook f6, king e5, king d7. So you moved your king. But I don't know where you moved your king. I don't know. I'll never know because you play king d7 next move. So you moved your king to one of these four squares. Yeah. Then you move back to d7. You wrote knight e7. So I'm going to guess king here. I'm going to guess that because we'll never know. Right. Just because you wrote seven. <laughs> okay, now we're back to the game. Okay, you're still not losing. So all I was trying to do was just to make it 50 moves. But it was tough because I didn't want to get mated. And I, like I said, I've never had this situation or even seen it. I just knew that I could that it could be drawn. So far, you've never been losing. With correct You did play. nothing wrong. Hey, what now? What, oh. What happened with it? With... Okay, Stacey. Now you wrote king e8, <laughs> so it's probably king here. And then you checked. Then here. Okay, so, and you have to understand how exhausted I was at this point. You're asking chat, okay, now here, you definitely want to go here. Get your king off the back rank. Okay. But you played this. I mean, it doesn't matter. You were always drawing. You were never lost. But you just don't want your king on the back row. Then you have chances to lose. Yeah, I was really hoping you'd go here and you play king g8. Still drawing. And then this is the only drawing move. Yep. Then this is where your time ran out. Yeah, so I was about six moves away from, what's the move number? 110. And you started. I circled like around 66. Started at 66. Right. So you needed five, six more moves. Right, yeah, I was right. So, mm -hmm. unless I didn't write down the very last, was that the five? No, no, he checked you and you didn't move, I remember. Okay. And then well, I... you were never losing the rip versus <coughs> night, ever. So I was really disappointed um, I had been up till 2.30 in the morning the night before upset. I wonder upset. if King H8 draws or just King H7. About round wow. one. <laughs> so when you lost on time, yeah. King H7 draws and King H8 loses. Okay. So you had to find King H7. Although I think if you play here, you would have drawn because he didn't have enough time. Yeah, we were both low on time. So that was just disappointing again, round two. I felt like this tournament shows that I belong in that section. I lost my first two games, and it wasn't like um, I had to. The first game, I was winning. <laughs> yeah, you've never defended this in a tournament play, Mark? 
Me neither. So I was trying to figure mm-hmm. it out. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what to do. And I had a, a time advantage, probably about seven or eight minutes, and he had two something. And then um, because I was having to think so hard on each move to make sure I wasn't getting made it, it just got lower and lower and lower. And I just I could have made a quicker move. I didn't realize I was about to flag. I mean, I, I knew that I was, you know, one minute or so. But I, when you're that focused on finding your move, you know, you lose yeah. track of time. And that's what happened. I have to save this somehow. Yeah. Is this game fun? You know, define fun. <laughs> ah, here it is, share. No, I didn't offer a draw. That would be so rude. <laughs> that would be considered rude for me to offer a draw when I'm losing. And my only hope is to play perfectly and draw. So, no, I didn't offer a draw. He knew what was going on. He had to. Thanks, Pat6578. <laughs> yeah, I like to win. And then it's fun. 